jump scares? Because that's what you're going to get when you combine hydrogen and oxygen, especially when you do it in specific ratios. Thanks for watching Science with Mike. Hydrogen burns in air, and everything kind of burns in a little bit of air, but things burn really well when they're in certain ratios. You see why? Hydrogen and oxygen make H2O, 2 to 1 ratio. You put those in a 2 to 1 ratio, you got yourself an explosion on your hands. But before we get there, let's just take some hydrogen and burn it with a little bit of air. That's hydrogen. The hydrogen is much lighter than air. Uh, it's the lightest gas there is, so it'll just stay up in the test tube. And over to the flame. That's water. Now we're going to get a little riskier. This is just a coffee can I decorated. But uh, it's got a hole in the top, a hole in the bottom. We're going to fill it with hydrogen and then place it on this little pad. And what's going to happen is as the flame burns, oxygen's going to come in through the bottom. It's going to burn, burn, and burn until 2 to 1 ratio. And that's when things are going to get what we call in science, science, what we call in science, exciting. When that frequency gets like right to the top of the frequency range there, when it's, that's when it's full. I'm going to get the heck out of here. scary. Did you hear it go? <laughs> this time we'll do one in the dark. Maybe you get a chance to see the flame uh, both up here get sucked back in and then maybe some of the explosions. So here we go again. You might even hear it filling um, as there's air in there and if you're a musician you know that or, or whoever you know that basically as the lighter air goes in there just like when you breathe in helium and you make a funny noise you'll hear the frequency getting higher and higher, and that's how I know it's full. Get out of the way. hydrogen and oxygen. Thanks for watching Science with Mike. I'm going to go duck and cover now. On a bit uh, sadder note, uh, this demonstration with the coffee can was taught to me by my esteemed colleague uh, Roger Penn. We lost him a couple, three weeks ago. So, miss you buddy. That one's for you. Go ahead. I do want to say that, uh, you know, this was kind of the way science was taught, and uh, nowadays, I don't know if it's society is a little more scared of uh, demonstrations with exploding coffee cans, for good reason, but also um, Dr. Penn brought in the design of this building, which does allow us to uh, perform demonstrations like this on the regular in a pretty safe way. So there's natural gas in the, in the lecture room, we got a fume hood. And Dr. Penn had a lot of input to that, and we appreciate that very greatly.